All right, welcome back to part two. Here we're going to actually do some work. All right, so before you get started, the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get started is you need to make sure that the laser is focused. So it comes with this focusing stick, and normally you would measure it from the lens element down to the part. Don't put it on your lens element. Your lens element has a coating on it. You don't want to scratch this. So normally what I do is once you find the right focal height, what I do is I find a mark on the outside of the lens and I use that as a reference so that you're never touching that coating with anything that you're using to measure the focal length. Okay. You also want to make sure that you have it right on the, on the part. You don't want it on your clamp or your vise. It's the actual surface that's going to get burned. And if you ever burned anything with a magnifying glass in the sun, this is basically doing the same thing. So if this is not focused right, you're not going to get the heat input that you need to do the engraving. Okay, that being said, what you're going to need to do is you're going to resize your artwork. And I didn't mention earlier, if you have the hatch pattern already filled in and you resize this, you're resizing that hatch pattern. So you're stretching it. And so that's not right. So if you need to go bigger, you got to reapply this hatch and it's going to fill it back in. So just in case you didn't know or you're resizing stuff and you're getting different results, you probably stretched or shrunk the hatch pattern and you need to reapply that. Okay, so down here you have a lighting option, okay? And when you click light, what you're going to get is you're going to get a rectangular outline of this artwork. Your other option, if you go to parameters and you go to other red light pointer, there's a tick box here that says enable show contour. When this is ticked on, you'll get the letter outline so you can see the size of each letters. If you have to avoid areas, um, it'll show you the outline. So I click OK like that. And when you click lighting, you're going to get the outline of what your engraving is actually going to look like. Okay. So now that you have everything lined up and you're happy with it, double check everything. Double check your power settings, your frequency, your, your hatch pattern, your focal length, because you're getting one shot at this. As soon as you hit this mark button, it's all over. It's either going to be good or it's going to be crap. So make sure you double check your focal length, your material. And the other thing you want to do with EasyCAD 2, once you get everything set up, save the file because this program crashes quite frequently. If you did not save this and it crashes on you, you're going to have a hard time recreating this and scaling it the right scale. Now, most of the stuff you could do by eye, or you can go in here and you can put in dimensions. So let's say I wanted this to be 30 millimeters. Good. So if you remember what you changed here and it crashes, you can recreate it easier. But you're not going to have the spacing right. So please, please, please save the file before you hit this mark button. All right, so this will be uh, quicker, and then uh, another video will do some other settings and uh, fine-tuning some parameters on the machine to get your engraving to burn pretty clean. And this is what the results look like. Thanks for watching. Comment below.